In this video, I will be discussing the basic anatomy of the viola, or violin, as well as the basic anatomy of the bow. We're going to start with the instrument. So first off, this is a viola. Um, a violin has all the same parts, except for the strings are tuned differently. So we'll start with the strings. The viola, the bottom string, is a C, and then they go in fifths on the way up. So the next lowest string, G, then one after that, D, and after that, A. The strings run across the bridge here that supports, well, that allows them to keep the tension. Um, down here you have fine tuners. Here's our chin rest for resting the chin. We've also got the button here in the end. Hello, so, is that you? Oh, okay. Um, down the other end of the instrument, all the way at the end, this is the scroll. So called because of its wrapped and wound scroll like appearance. We've also got tuning pegs that allow you to do more general tuning as opposed to the fine tuners, which are out closer. This will get you ballpark. This will get you bang on in tune. We've also got uh, the neck of the instrument here. The entirety here is the body. And then these are the F holes where sound goes in, resonates, comes out nicely. On the back, we have a shoulder rest. We have rubber banded on. So that way, when you hold the instrument, it provides a little bit of extra comfort. Okay. So, those are all the parts of the viola or violin. Now, we'll talk about the bow. So, the bow here has got tape in the middle to indicate where you should be um, placing the bow on the string when you start to play. We've also got um, a frog down here. We've also made a pinky house so that you can stick your pinky there, properly grip the bow. Basically, you're going to have your thumb either in this gap or wrapped around, depending on which is more comfortable. Your, uh, middle, t your middle finger and your ring finger on your right hand are going to uh, grasp the other side of the bow, sort of counterbalance the thumb. The pointer finger is going to rest here, nice and relaxed. Pinky goes in the pinky house for added stability. And there you go. When holding the bow, it's important to not be moving your elbow. You can often achieve this by placing your arm on a wall. So that way, when you close, you close and open the door, you're not moving too much back and forth if you're just moving open and closed, open and closed. You can practice this on your shoulder as well. What else we got? Um, oh, okay, so rest position with the viola. You want to be underneath your bow arm. You sort of bring your arm right over the, uh, the chin rest at the bottom end of the body. You hold it out like this. There's also um, when you're grabbing to go to playing position, you can take the instrument by the, uh, by the bridge, uh, or sorry, on the neck, closer to the bridge than the scroll, down at the bottom of the instrument, hold it up like a statue of liberty, dun da 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 put the button to your ear, hello, so, is that you? Still not selling. Um, bring it down onto your shoulder, look towards the scroll, lower your head onto the chin rest, and so you can hold the instrument, and then the bow, it's going to come right where the tape is. It's going to be right over the string. Strings will put on the A string now. And that is the basic how to hold the instrument um, in rest position and in playing position, how to hold the bow, and all the anatomy of each.